Hi, I'm Phoebe Everill from the Phoebe Everill School for Wood. Drilling and countersinking, something that carpenters and furniture makers do a lot. We want a really nice clean result and we want it to be repeatable. Uh, this is the way we used to do it. We used to use a drill, then we had to change it over, even with these quick release ones, uh, we had to change it over, unless you have the luxury of two drills, uh, and move to a countersink. So two operations. The new generation of drill bits are these beautiful countersinking drill bits. One that I've used for many years, which is this Irwin one, uh, which are terrific pieces of kit and this new one from Snappy. So looking forward to giving them a run into some eucalyptus concreters, otherwise known as ironwood. This new Snappy countersink drill, it's a bit more money than the uh, Irwin and like everybody, I'd like to know that it was worth my dollars. So why spend the extra money? A uh, couple of things just straight out of the packet, haven't used it yet. Once I wrangled it out of the packet, I've got to love a childproof protection packet. You've got to cut them out with surgical scissors. So once we've got it out of the packet, and I've checked that it's tight, checked its Allen key, checked with an Allen key that the locking is nice and tight on it. Having a good look here. This has got a significant improvement, which uh, I only see really in router bits. Uh, these tungsten carbide tips cutters uh, in the in the head of the, uh, the of the countersink and it's also got a, um, a much more open flute on the drilling and it's also got the the uh, coating on it not sure what you call it not an engineer I just I just you know work these things till they break and the longer they hold the happier I am uh, this is the kind of tool I was looking for and I would advise anybody who is doing really repeated work like decking or um, yeah, some re that's why I'm testing it in really hard timber today uh, because as when you're doing decking uh, especially with things like spotted gum and iron bark you need either to have three drills one drill one countersink and one driver this puts it all into one unit so I'm going to put the, um, what are we calling it, the quick change chuck into my drill. Quick change chucks have been around for a while and one of the things that they are really good at doing is every time I have to change a cutter, put it in and out, I have to do this process with my wrist. Now. My wrists are tired. I've done a lot of work with them. Anything that will make it easier for me to change from one operation, pull the sleeve back, drop the drill in, do the drilling, pull the sleeve back, put your screwdriver bit in, do the driving. I've just done one, two, three operations very smoothly. So again, let's just run through how we're doing this. I've got my quick change in place. Hello. I've drilled into a few bench tops in my life and I'm just not so keen to do this one. So I'll just move it off the bench. And again, clear. This is really hard timber. Whoa, hello, that's quick. Big difference. Let's have a look at that. So let's have a try. Uh, let's actually put them side by side, same timber, same drill, and let's just see how they compare. On the, on the first one, on the Irwin drilling, uh, I was having to stop and clean it a number of times and you'll notice some smoke developing. 
every time smoke develops on a drilling operation, you really want to clear the swarf off the drill bit, and that slows you down a little bit. Uh, far less, I only did, needed to do it once on the snappy. And as I said, this is very seasoned iron bark. It's probably as hard a timber as any of us will ever have to drill. So no smoke, um, nice clean result, uh, far less pressure on the drill. Yeah, all in all, great result for the snappy. The Owen is a good combination. It's a, uh, it's a good drill countersink operation. If you've got multiples to do and you're questioning why spend the extra money, I would always have better kit in my workshop. Uh, as a professional, I want equipment that lasts well, does the job repeatedly, and in Australian timbers, you know, we've got really, really hard timbers. So this lovely tungsten cutting system, it's, it's like a router bit to me. Um, very high quality cut. I'd buy this every time and I would expect that it paid for itself. I'm Phoebe Everill. Thanks for watching. For more information, click on the link below and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>